hi everyone welcome to our new video uh today we're going to learn how to create what they call a ip a static ip on ubuntu uh what you're gonna do is uh you're going to go to your terminal first and uh, you wanna see um i'm gonna create another session and uh, recall the commands i use uh i com okay Okay, say not. Okay, sudo. Let me be sudo first. Sudo. Sudo so, then enter. It's gonna ask you for the password. You put in the password. Or say. So after that, you enter. After entering, then you say if config zit minus a something like that. Let's see. Yeah, did it work? Yes. It did work so uh, it gave us this is the IP our IP we have you can copy it and put somewhere because it's gonna it's gonna use subnet mask you can see it we have it broadband we have that so now those are one of the things we might be looking for so I'm gonna copy this um, and I try something to I wanna put it somewhere because we wanna get the same format of that. Uh, let me get into this. Okay. I'm trying to create something new here. The reason is I want us to run on the same settings uh, so that we don't forget. So okay, we have that. We copy our IP. This is the IP we have. And also we get our subnet mask maybe even if we don't do that what we do is we're gonna go to you see here on the network you click there then you say wired you click there then you say wired settings you click there once you're here what you're gonna do you're gonna click on your you see connected wired connection so it's gonna click you click on this gear settings then once you're there then you click on your IPv4, IPv4. Then after there, you're gonna click on manual. After there, you're gonna select the IP you want. IP address, subnet mask, gateway. So I'm gonna put this. After getting that, um, subnet mask, we're gonna use this. The same. Okay. So get that okay we delete that okay uh, so after that we get gateway we can use okay uh, on that we we're gonna we're gonna do gateway which gateway do we need uh what the gateway we can use this i want to use this gateway okay uh 555 five, five. okay that's fine so now what we do here since that is fine the dsn once we do that then we're gonna click apply you get me so um can we leave the dsn to automatic if we want to we can do that i believe so so let's say apply and see what's gonna happen so once we apply that we gonna go back because I want us to go back why because um, this is the same IP I'm using so we're gonna use I'm gonna make it to be 200 you you work on that range you have I'm gonna make it to be 200 so that should be something like unique okay once I'm done with that once the settings are fine I'm gonna go here and uh, try to recall one of the commands uh, and say okay okay i okay if config did i get the right thing let me see let me see let me see i think i should clear this but in most cases the best thing to do is to 
you should switch off your computer let me see clear okay if if config minus a say enter uh, let's see if it didn't change there should be no problem what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to you see the the IP hasn't changed so what I'm gonna do is um I'm gonna close everything so I'm gonna restart the computer or switch it off switching it off it can work for us uh, let me switch it off I'm gonna switch it off then I'm gonna switch it on back then we see what's gonna happen then if it's changed it's fine if it didn't change so it means we're gonna change also choose the what the DSN server so Be patient guys, the computer is coming on. Huh? Okay. Go to the servers, type in our password. Press enter. In most cases, if things didn't go well, it, it, it you won't have internet access. If everything went well, you're gonna have internet access. So we're still searching here. Let's see. Let's get it. Let's get it fine. Okay, other softwares are fine. Let's give it time. We see. Connection failed, you can see. So why did it fail? Because of that, what we did. So we can click back there. Okay. We click settings, then we click on IPv4, it's manual, everything is fine there, but now we didn't give it the DSN, you get me? Um, it's okay, let's try to see, connection failed, if we can give it the DSN uh, server here, and uh, maybe we leave it like that but we give it decent server which is gonna be 4000 it won't work 40 okay we're gonna say 40 then we apply here after applying let's see what's gonna happen If it's fine it's gonna give you the internet if it's not then it won't give you the internet
okay it says okay activation of network connection failed uh it's fail it failed again okay that's what we have now let me see what we're gonna do else now guys what we decided to do we're gonna we put back to what it was so now what we're going to do is to get uh, uh, our IP everything ready so we're gonna say this is the IP we have uh, which is gonna be IP IP we're gonna make it to be 100 and f we're gonna say 100 okay we're gonna get it make it 100 then we're gonna need the DSN okay which we're gonna make here okay we're gonna need the DSN I don't want us to change the DSN, it's gonna be the same to the new one. We're gonna make it the DSN, DSN, it's gonna be the new one. Okay, uh, subnet mask, we need our subnet mask, uh, which we're gonna try to get. Remember what they need from us, what do they need, net mask and gateway, okay. So what we do is we're gonna go to our uh, what our terminal. Then we become sudo 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 so you enter. Then put in the password. Then if config config minus a okay you enter okay after entering you can say net mask what we have is this but we should copy the way it is all of it i want us to use the same thing um uh, so we use it here net mask okay then the gateway this is the gateway we can use this exactly the way it is i don't want us to change things i only want to change the ip address you get me um we can see net mask net mask okay we're gonna get this that's what i'm gonna get Okay, uh, I believe we're fine. So we're gonna get that, which is we're gonna call it as our gateway. Gateway. One ninety two dot what 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 dot. Okay, so it's fine. Um, since it's fine we going to go back and uh, try to reset our stuff so remember what we did last time let me cancel everything then we're gonna go back from the scratch i show you where to click where not to click cancel uh cancel so you go to this icon for the network you can see it click on it select wired then select wired settings then you go there on wired then you click the settings then you click ipv4 then you start we're gonna say manual then after that we're gonna start taking all the, that information we took first then we see if it's gonna work the ip we're gonna copy this hundred we're gonna use hundred um, exactly the way it is and uh, we put in the IP address there. We go to CD DSN. We take our DSN to be like this. So now we go to gateway. I think this is the gateway we're gonna use. Same thing. Um then after that we go to our subnet mask 
We don't want it to change. We see that. And uh, then we can try to apply and see. Apply. Okay, after application, we don't know. If the only way to know that everything is working is by checking our inter our command prompt and see if it has a new IP. Okay. So do so enter and say I see IP IF config minus A the IP is not, has not changed yet uh, that I'm sure so it's gonna require us to log out but I want to save my our stuff this we don't have to save it anyway it's fine uh, switch off we're gonna force a switch off Okay, then you switch on back. We see. Sometimes you can work on it and it doesn't work for several times. Keep on che ch checking and change the IP. If you have a lot of uh, computers on the network, you might find that the IP you're using already there is a what? There is uh, that IP is taken already, so that's why you're gonna get into trouble whereby it can see another duplication, so it won't work. So let's see what's going to happen now. Yeah, guys, you know what was the problem? Use the same gateway if you go to uh, your command prompt. The IP you change it, you use the the what? Uh, use the, the the what? The gate the gateway as the same as your modem. Because the modem I'm using, I'm using a Huawei modem which uses 192.168.8.1. So, and also DSN, leave it like this. And. Uh, leave it on automatic but put it the dsn is gonna be the same what gateway so put uh your netmask to 255.255.255.0 and here you put the way you want you get me but it has to be in this range if it's your if your gateway starts with 192 also let your um ip address the one you want to make is static to be uh set to 192.0 Dot, dot, no, dot eight, dot one six, dot eight, dot whatever number you choose at the end. So the difference here is gonna be only the last number on your IP. So then you click apply, then it's gonna work. You see, apply here. I wonder if you can see. It should be green. You click apply. Once you're done, you restart your computer. Uh, you only need to change this thing. So it's gonna be manual. You can see it's manual and it's working. So. I'm gonna go to internet you're gonna restart your computer after that I've restarted it already uh, but those are the only steps you do um, let me repeat the steps for you you click on this icon on Ubuntu you look for wired you click there then you click for wired settings after that, you look for this wired then you click on the gear icon click there once you get that then you click here on IPv4 then you select what 
manual instead of automatic it's going to be on automatic there then you go to your command prompt and say uh, ip config let me get to you there on your command prompt you go to your which is terminal in ubuntu you go there you become sudo you become sudo once you become sudo i guess you see well sudo space su say enter once you enter then it's going to ask for the password put in a password you enter after entering then you're going to say ip no you're going to say if config then you enter so now once you enter you can see this is your you don't use this you need only this sub mask and also you need this you get me so this is the ip we used but uh, it changed you can change that this one is your sub net mask uh then you get your what your modems gateway is the one you're gonna use here you get me in this place you use your modems gateway use exactly don't change and uh, after doing that let me see if i can get you more information here uh leave this information down here you use this app so once you get that we need only this here you only need this you copy that you're gonna put it here then you try to see what is your modems gateway if you don't know it go to your modem and check it uh, because if you don't get it it might get you a problem so on the modem it's written um, so now I'm gonna go to the modem then I show you the mo the gateway what we're talking about let me go to the modem but anyway you can check it using the command but anyway I want to show you the easier way easy way is this okay this is the modem we're using so now we're gonna go here and uh, you look here you see it's not there so you look here you can see the gateway that's the one we say website which says website 192.168.8.1 so that's the gateway you use you saw what we did so after that we're gonna be we're gonna be fine so you saw where we got the gateway so the modems are not the same yours could be different so if yours starts with 10 dot what what then also your ip should start with this then you just only change the manipulate the last number okay guys thanks for watching uh i'm gonna go to the internet then i show you that it's working i can go to uh, uh googleboy.com boy.co.za uh, then hit enter you can see i can visit any website so those are the simple steps you do to change that thanks for watching guys see you in the next video